Students, welcome to Solar Cells classes. In this video, I will be solving some of the geology questions from JAM 2017. Now, in the previous video, as we can see, I have solved up to question number 12. So, I will start this video with question number 13. That is, Wilson orogenic cycle in continents, they are initiated by and which of the following options is correct. Now, this Orogenic cycle, it is a sequence of repeated cycles. It is a sequence of repeated cycles of sedimentation, sedimentation, then sedimentation, then deposition, deposition, then erosion, which is followed by followed by burial and metamorphism metamorphism and then the formation of and then the formation of granitic batholith granitic batholiths and tectonic uplets tectonic uplets to form mountain chain now this wilson orthogenic cycle this cycle is it is described as a large tectonic cycle tectonic cycle that is lasting for more than 100 million years for more than for more than 100 million years million years and the cycle it starts with breakup of a continent and growth of an ocean at a newly formed mid oceanic rift system so it is started started with breakup of a continent breakup of a continent continent and growth of an ocean growth of ocean at a newly formed mid oceanic rift system at a newly formed mid oceanic rift system So the correct answer of this question is option number B. So the correct answer is option number B that is rifting. That is Wilson orogenic cycle in continents is initiated by rifting. Now we will move to the next question. Here we have to match the processes that are written in group 1 to the corresponding geomorphic features that are written in group 2. The first one that is mushroom rock. This mushroom rock, they are naturally occurring rock. Naturally occurring rock. So they are naturally rockering rock whose shapes resembles a mushroom whose shape resembles a mushroom. So it is something like this shape. Now these rocks they are formed in a number of ways like erosion. 
weathering abrasion etc so we will match abrasion with mushroom rock that is q1 next is exfoliation domes now this exfoliation domes they are large dome shaped rocks they are large dome shaped rocks shaped rocks that are produced produced by exfoliation exfoliation or onion skin weathering onion skin weathering that is removal of oldest dead skin cells removal of older dead skin cells dead skin shells from the skin's outermost surface from outer most surface so next is s2 that is onion skin weathering is connected with exfoliation domes next is sinkholes now the sinkholes they are they are depression or hole they are depression or hole in a ground caused by some form of caused by some form of collapse of the surface layer collapse of the surface layer and this is mostly caused by crust process k r k a r s t crust process so this this collapse of surface layer it is usually caused by crust process that is dissolution dissolution of soluble rocks soluble rocks such as limestone gypsum etc so this sinkholes it is associated with the sinkhole it is associated with dissolution that is p3 and the last is deposition which is associated with moraines as moraines they are glacially formed accumulation of they are glacially formed accumulation so this moraines they are glacially formed accumulation or deposition deposition of this unconsolidated glacial debris un consolidated consolidated glacial debris so we have 
P3, Q1, R4 and S2 which is our option number C. So the correct answer of this question is option number C.